in the standard hierarchy of the way things work in this world, exactly where does all the trouble start? Hi, my name is Ted Rosenblatt, and I'm here with my father, Dr. Rod Rosenblatt, and this is Talks with Dad Rod. We kind of threw this one in right at the last second. Where does trouble start? You know, we, we, we've, you and I have argued about organizational charts and exactly when companies start to fail, and then we extrapolate then to the church or something else. Good illustration, just this last week, Blizzard, the software company that was so great, <clears throat> and it's tanking, and the trouble was at the top. And is. Always is. And trouble, is. It's always at the top. And we just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a gamer, so this is near and dear to my heart, but, you know, we hear about, without going into specifics, you know, we hear about that the top perpetuates its own problem. It, cre- it, it feathers its own nest at the, at, the expense cost, of. at the expense of others. Yep. And we can see this everywhere. And I think it's a model of how sin plays out when we are given positions of power. And we hear the old adage about, you know, is it Huxley's Acton. adage? Or Acton, there you go. About uh, power corrupting. Yeah. And you get in a position like that, and you just think you're God's gift to whatever it is. In my field, <clears throat> I, I illustrate with seminary. I went to a not-so-great Lutheran seminary in Columbus, Ohio. Might have been called Christianity in Water by C.S. Lewis. It wasn't great. <clears throat> and then I went to a really good one for my second year, a Missouri Synod Seminary in Lincolntown, Illinois, Springfield. No longer exists. Great faculty. <clears throat> but from not one single faculty m- member at either seminary did I ever get a factually based inductively oriented argument for a high view of scripture. Not one until Dr. Montgomery came in as a visiting prof and I happened to go audit that course. But that's, it was a zero for argumentative value. <clears throat> that was not part of what I got. I had to get it later on. So how, how does that come about? Let's get back to our original point. So, so we, we would say that the choices are made from where that create a scenario where people are. Well, it pushing. always cascades down to the pastors who are trained by that seminary. And then from there down to the laity. Yeah. Right. It al- always. So either, either if you're in a, in a, if you're teaching, if you're in a position of teaching or you are a pastor, whatever you've been taught is going to flow sure. forth from you. So it comes down and, and having been around long enough in our circles, sure. I've seen the choices that are made at the top create what is what comes out of that institution or that organization. Yeah, in 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 the case of the Springfield Seminary, they had a wonderful view of scripture, solid, but no defense for it. In other words, <clears throat> this would work just fine if you've got a whole audience of people who are already Christian believers. But what if they're not? And they didn't equip us at all for that. So this will this will sort of tap into another episode we're going to do. But I wanted to have fun a little bit with. Um, we were talking about having a little fun with the idea of exactly where do the errors begin at the top? At the top, and then they roll downhill. Seminaries, blizzard. I mean, this is <laughs> they're at the, both at the top. <laughs> they, it doesn't roll from one to the other. That makes no sense. Yeah, but you know, we've got same sort of thing that illustrates the problem is always at the top. And actually, Blizzard is actually on the downhill. Blizzard is, Blizzard is not the top of that. From hierarchy. being the top of the hill. Well, Blizzard is is not actually the top of the hill. Okay, it's actually uh, Electronic Arts. But in that in that case, if if you got a hierarchy, there's actually higher. You got to go to the top. Okay, you know, like Google is not owned by Google. It's owned by this other organization called Alphabet or whatever. So you look at these these hierarchies, and you can always go to the very top, you know, and figure out where where it starts. Yep. Remember that old, this comes to me now, remember that old uh, movie called Network where the guy said, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. Yes, right? yelled flipped. it out his window. And, uh, and I just, and it, w- and it was, it was really, 
a, uh, you could see a study in that, uh, you know, how the, the, the wheels of power from the top were trying to command uh -huh. something to happen at the bottom. And it got pretty dark at the end, literally. It was just terribly dark. But it revealed exactly the pressure that, that comes down from the top. Yep. And how much wisdom is there at the top? Well, in this case, um, the thing that was lacking was a solid intro to apologetics. The thing I'd recommend, start with the audio set we sell at 1517, Dr. Montgomery, Dr. Montgomery doing a series, audio series, titled Sensible Christianity. There's your best audio commentary on 1 Peter 315. But always be ready to give a reasoned defense, literally Greek apologia, but always be ready to give a reasoned defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is within you. So we'll cover all that um, here shortly in another episode. Um, that's, that's, kind of a, that's kind of a precursor. But uh, it's, it's... Oh, and a good primer. There you go. One volume, Dr. Montgomery, History, Law, and Christianity. That you can also get from 1517. There's the best short book where he does the same defense and debate. They have that on the set for a reason. You know, we do, but we just had somebody recently call out some, uh, some Easter eggs on here, and we invite people to do the same sort of thing and try to figure out the meanings of the things we've included in here. That's a, that's a short putt. That's, that's a gimme. So I hope you enjoyed this. Was, we could so many episodes today. Anyway, uh, hope you have, uh, get something good out of this and you come and visit us at 1517.org. And we love seeing you on social media, including YouTube, come and engage with us. And we try to stay in touch with you there and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for joining us on talks with dad rod, part of the 1517 podcast network. This podcast and all 1517's content is made possible through financial support by listeners just like you. Please visit 1517.org for more, and please consider clicking on the donate button and making a recurring or one-time contribution to help us share this good news in a world which so desperately needs it. <laughs>